Good morning, Cameron Chargers. My name is Zyla. My name is Travis. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Monday, we will have an assembly in the cafeteria called Dare to Draw. You will learn some strategies about art and drawing. Be sure to listen and participate so you're prepared to start working in our new art room this year. On Wednesday, we will start our first wide fundraiser. It will be selling popcorn and mini cookies. Your teacher will show you a video about this fundraiser and all the cool prizes you can earn on Wednesday. On Friday, some of us will get to meet with some important people in charge of our school district. We will have lunch with the superintendent, Swearingen, to tell her about what it's like to be Cameron Kids. Now let's go to Elizabeth for this week's weather report. It will be another warm week this week. The temperature will be close to 100 degrees each day. Be sure to drink a lot of water to stay hydrated when you are outside playing. Back to you, Travis. Thanks, Elizabeth. The lunch menu for October hasn't been posted yet. On Monday, we will have orange chicken, and Friday will be pizza. We aren't sure what we'll have for the rest of the week yet. Let's go to Elijah for this week's birthday. Happy birthday! This week's birthdays are Mila Esquera and Michael LaVeya. Have a great birthday week. Back to you, Zyla. Thank you, Elijah. Happy birthday, everyone. Here's Kalise and Kelly to tell us about a few important people with Hispanic heritage. Lori Hernandez was born on June 9, 2000, in New Jersey. She became a gymnast after watching the Olympics on television. Lori won many medals in competitions all over the world. She was part of a group of five gymnasts called the Final Five. After winning the gold in 2016, Lori has gone on to write children's books when dancing with the stars and work on television. Lynn Manuel Miranda was born on January 16, 1980, in New York City. Lynn Manuel began writing and performing in musicals when he was young. After reading a biography of Alexander Hamilton, Lynn Manuel wrote a musical called Hamilton, a musical, a American musical. It became one of the most popu popular and beloved musicals of all time. He continues to write music and work in television and theater. Back to you, Travis. Thank you, Kalise and Callie, for the month of October. Our kids' beat focus is on uh, is integrity around campus. Integrity is all the, is all about who you are and the choices you m make, even when no one is around. As Cameron kids, we should be making choices that will help ourselves and the people around us. We should be trying to, our best to create. A positive community around us. In the classroom, integrity can look like following instructions from our teacher and other grown ups. It can look like making choices to be focused and learn rather than getting distracted and being silly. It could look 
it can look like being patient and helping others to stay on task and learn. There are many ways to show integrity in our classroom. This week, you will talk to your teacher about more ways to show it. A big way that some of us are having trouble with showing kids' behaviors is with our bodies. We should never be putting hands on each other at school. Many of us are using our bodies to try to solve our problems. This is not a positive way to problem solve. Using your hands or body when you're, when you're, up, when you're upset will get you into trouble. If you are having trouble with someone or some someone or someone is messing with you, tell an adult at school so it can be taken care of. Do not try to take care of it in your on your own. Many of us are also are also having trouble showing kids kindness and integrity with our words. We are calling each other other names and being mean. This does not solve problems. This makes it worse. If you are having trouble with someone, you should talk to a grown-up. Do not call someone a name or be mean to them. Just because they are doing something differently than you would... We are all different, and that is okay. If no one is getting hurt, if no one is getting hurt, talk to that person about what they are doing and why are they doing it. Our voices can be powerful too, tools too, to help us problem solve. If we are using it the right way, we will talk more about this in next week's Ch Charger News. Let's all work hard to follow these reminders about making positive choices with our bodies and voices with Cameron Kids' behaviors to have a more positive week this week. We did not have a grade level that earned the title of Cameron Kids Superheroes in the cafeteria this week. We all needed to work on showing kindness, integrity, determination, and support more in the cafeteria. If the people around you are not showing our expectations, remind them of what they should be doing in a kind way. Hopefully we, sh we can all improve this week and have a winner. Shout out to third grade for being the Ca Cameron Kids superheroes outside on the playground last week. You've showed the most improvement in kids' behaviors, playing fairly, not having drama, and using equipment correctly. Keep up the good work. A special shout out to Miss Sablet's class for showing the most support to the custodians by cleaning up after themselves at the end of the, each day. Great job, Room 15. Our school wide attendance rate was about 92 last week. Almost every grade level's attendance rate was higher than 90 again. Shout out to third and fourth grade for having the highest attendance last week with a about 94 keep, be, keep being here and being determined to learn keep working hard to show kids behaviors to earn breakthrough cards let's see how many we can get to show how kind Cameron kids are be sure to walk on your way to take them to the office at 2 30 and walk all the way back to class Finally, let's go to Julian and Anna Alyssa for our riddles of the week. Kate's mom has three kids. Their names are Snap and Crackle. What's the name of their third child? Kate! I can fill a room, but I take up no space. What am I? A light. Say it with us! Cameron kids lead through kindness, integrity, determination, and support. Have a great week, Cameron Chargers.